<laughs> that thing is absolutely incredible. So, okay, so I'm gonna pack this up. What are you doing, you silly? I got a little something for you. <laughs> hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome to the vlog. I hope the start of your day is absolutely incredible. This week is going to be a little bit crazy because for the next five or six days, we are short staffed. That's right. I got rid of Eric and Mary. They're gone. They're out of here. No, the truth is, they're just on vacation. They're only gone for a few days. They're in Southern California visiting family, which means that Jessica, Kelsey, myself, and Lori have a lot of work to do this week, which is going to be fine because we are going to kick some butt, and it's going to be absolutely incredible, but I can guarantee you I'm going to be happy when Eric and Mary are back. We're also later on going to go pick up our Christmas tree. That's right, it is the Christmas season, and anyone that has followed this vlog knows Lori loves Christmas, so we are going to get in the Christmas spirit, and I'm going to take you guys along on that adventure. In the meantime, we have a lot of work to do and I have to pack a bunch of shipments because we have a bunch of stuff going out. So what do you say we get started and get packing some reptiles? We've got a pretty good number of ball pythons and one blood python to pack. So what do you say we get right to it? I gotta mentally prepare myself for putting these animals in these bags and not being able to see them again. But you know, one of the things I really do love is a lot of our customers do send pictures of the snakes that they buy from us as they grow and I really love it. So if you ever do business with us, please keep in touch. I put a lot of love into these animals and I love to see how they're doing for you guys so uh, anyways let's go ahead and uh, start packing all right so I'm having a problem here my first snake is a male calico and uh, I can't find it <laughs> I am really horrible at this I gotta just keep looking Okay guys, I'm not gonna lie, uh, in real time that was about 10 minutes. Uh, I can't find this animal, so I'm gonna put this aside and go back to it, cause uh, I don't know, I'm sure it's here, just gotta figure out where it's at. Next up. You guys are not gonna believe this. This I can't find this snake either. We do have to get this place organized, cause normally we have them organized to where there's actually like we know what rack they're in, but uh, this is a nightmare. So I'm gonna move on. I'm gonna have to grab Lori to help me out here in a minute. Let's just keep moving on. <laughs> All right, guys. Actually, that last one was actually a super black pastel. I did find it, thankfully. This is really cool. Take a look at that. Is that a beautiful snake or what? That was actually the last one, but I didn't find the one I was just looking for, so I'm still down one snake. I've got to go back to the snake I was just looking for, but at least I found this super black pastel, which is absolutely amazing. I tell you what, these guys have not been easy going today. Uh, this is a kingpin, but it has some suck shed on it. So I'm gonna go ahead and soak it because we don't like to send snakes out that have shed on it. Again, it gets drier down here in the winter and sometimes they don't shed perfect. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get this one in a warm bath for about 15 minutes. And uh, it's just a little bit of shed. Shouldn't be too bad to get that off. Next up is the Spinner Blast Hat for Russo. So the Spinner Blast is actually a pastel, a pinstripe, and a spider, and the Hat Russo is Hat for Leucistic, and it just makes them kind of really beautiful. That is a gorgeous snake. We're changing up a little bit from a ball python, of course, to a red blood python, a Sumatran red. That thing is gorgeous. I love blood pythons. We're definitely getting lower on them now, uh, and they're not gonna hatch again until the summer. So when we run out, we're out for the year. Regardless, that's a really pretty red blood python. <laughs> that is one gorgeous snake right there. This is actually a genetic stripe banana. So the genetic stripe is a recessive mutation and the banana, of course, is co-dominant. Oh my gosh, that thing is crazy. So I still have a couple snakes I need help finding. Uh, and then now I've got a bunch of pies I have to pack. So I can't wait to show you the different types of pies. And then I'm gonna have to get Lori because I cannot find these other snakes. All right, so this is one pied here. Wow, that's a good one. This is a male pie. Ooh, doggy, that's a beauty right there. That is, of course, probably a 90% white male pied. Ooh, that thing is screaming. And a female pied that's uh, probably like 50-50, so it's really pretty, too. I tell it, every pied is unique and beautiful. Another female pied that looks like it's about 50% white, too. So if you guys are getting any of these, down in the comments, let me know, because these things are freaking awesome. And lastly, another female pied that this one's about 80 or 90% white too. <laughs> that thing is absolutely incredible. So okay, so I'm gonna pack this up. 
What are you doing, you silly? I'm gonna pack this up and I'm gonna go get Lori because I need to find these last two snakes before FedEx gets here. Okay, so I've got Lori down here and she already explained that I messed up and that this one was actually a yearling, uh, not a baby. So that's the first mess up. So I know exactly where that one is. And that's actually a calico. The calico is the ones that have that white freckling in them that makes them really kind of neat. And there's varying amounts of freckling. You know, some can have like this, maybe like 10% white, and some can have a whole lot more. Did you? So Lori found the other one too. Uh, <laughs> is this what, what was right there? Yeah, first rack I looked at. <laughs> okay, so there it is. Uh, that's why I get Lori sometimes. Because I tell you what, sometimes I look and look and look and I can't find something and then Lori finds it right away. She's obviously better than I am at. So right, that concludes packing all of the ball pythons and other pythons. Uh, we'll get these in boxes and they'll be well on their way. And like I've mentioned in the past, they'll be at people's doors in 12 hours. We heat pack them during the winter. And as long as it isn't below about 20 degrees, they're completely safe. So for those of you that buy from us, thank you so much. And for those of you that don't, I hope that you enjoyed seeing what was going out today. So I wasn't sure really what I'm gonna film today, but I was thinking about it and Brian shares stuff with you. So I figured what the heck. And and the truth of the matter is, I don't know why, but I'm really having kind of a hard time getting into Christmas this year, which is really strange because for the most part, Christmas is my thing. And I see the stuff, I still love it, and I see this, you know, and I wanna buy a bunch of stuff, but I don't know, I'm just really having a hard time just getting my crap together and wanting to put everything out. I was at the store getting dog food the other day and I found something that I am actually kind of excited about. I got a little something for Susie. <laughs> and this makes me really happy <laughs> and I think it's gonna make Zeusie happy too while Artie is not a fan of wearing things Zeus, I think it makes him happy. Like he kind of likes it. He doesn't try to take stuff off and he almost kind of prances around with it. So I think I'm gonna put this on him today, uh, make him happy and maybe that'll help me get more in the Christmas spirit too. So we'll see. Zeusie, where are you? <laughs> there you are, boy. Look at, I got you something. Look at, look at, are you excited? Do you like it? You wanna put it on? Yes? Oh, he does. All right, let's get this on you. We want you to be so handsome. Oh. Look at that, so nice. I think it's gonna be a little snug. Here we go. <laughs> I got the large, but I might need a larger size. <laughs> oh God. All right. <laughs> Don't let it I think you just gave up. <laughs> Here, sit up. Let me get this on you better. Okay. <laughs> Oh, you look so handsome. Here. He looks happy. He looks happy. Here, stand up. Come here. There we go. Look at that. Look at that handsome boy. See, his tail's wag. He's happy. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, look at you. Well, I think mission accomplished. He's happy. I'm happy. And I'm sure you're happy too. How can you not be happy and smile seeing that little cute thing? Well, now it's time for me to get into the meat of my day. And first thing off of my list that I have to do is pack colubrids and geckos. So that is what I'm doing. Already made my lids and have my cups ready. Now my job is to find all of these things. Okay, well, I'm just about packed, and you can see it's not a super heavy packing day, but we have some pretty cool stuff going out today. I tell you what, look at, look at this guy here. Holy cow. That is a tangerine blood tremper albino, and that thing is smoking hot. And whoever the lucky recipient of that guy is, you're gonna be really happy, because that's a beautiful. Also got a lot of cool corn snakes that are going out today too, like, beautiful i love it one of my favorites uh cool butter motley corn very cool vinyl reverse oka tea was nice this guy was really cool too gold dust cinder corn very neat 
So yeah, that's about it. I got all these guys packed. Now it's time to get them in the boxes wrapped up and in time for FedEx to pick them up. Hi guys. So Mary is on vacation this week, which means that in addition to all of my animals, I'm also responsible for her animals this week. That's not a problem at all, but it does mean that I have a lot of work to get done. Right now I'm working on our adult ball python rack and then I gotta move on to the babies. So let's get started. So we're off to go get a tree. So Lori, how many trees will we have this year? It's yet to be determined. I think last year, what did we have last year? Was it seven trees, I think? Was it seven? I don't know, you're the one who counts. <laughs> I think it was seven trees. So we'll see if we get uh, sub seven trees or more than seven trees. Uh, go ahead down below, hit me with the over under on the tree count for the Barczyk family. It's always fun to go out and pick our only real tree that we're gonna be getting this year. So uh, hopefully we'll find a beautiful one. You know, it's kind of crazy. It was this time last year when we were really just getting in the flow of daily vlogs. So uh, it's kind of a, a memory to me, like going like, oh, I remember vlogging getting a tree last year. It was right around the time when we were really just getting in the flow of every day. Welcome to Christmas number two with the Barczyk family. What the heck are you doing? I'm trying to see for big bald spots. There's some bald spots in the back here. What'd you say? There's bald spots. <laughs> <laughs> We're good? We got, we're good? Fine, yes, I guess. Okay, it's getting cold out here. I guess it'll do it. Okay, good. <laughs> we have a winner. Okay, let's back it up. So we went in to pay for our Christmas tree and Lori ended up with another Christmas tree. So we have one Christmas tree already up. We just bought a second one and now we've got a third one. So we're up to three and we haven't even started Christmas yet. So. Uh, We'll see how it goes, but let's go load this other tree up. So guys, the tree is in. It's gonna take a day or so for all the branches to kind of fall down. It was pretty frozen out there. We have our let it snow ornament on there and let Christmas begin. I promise you guys, I will continue to update you as Lori makes the house festive as she always does. Once Lori gets in the Christmas mood, it is crazy around here. And let me know what you guys do. Do you like Christmas? How do you decorate? I would love to hear from you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in today. You guys mean the world to me and I love you so much. Can you do me a couple favors, please? before we leave can you smash that like button as well as hit the notification bell so you know when I upload a video which is every day seven days a week at nine o'clock in the morning Eastern Standard Time remember to be kind to somebody today and I promise I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow Everybody.